welcome to Wake Up America. An NBC News Wall Street Journal poll found that 69% of Americans believe free trade agreements cost Americans their jobs. Just 18% falsely believe that those agreements created jobs. The real picture here is that the majority of Americans believe free trade hurts the nation overall. We see the number of Americans against free trade increasing year after year. So the question here is that with so many Americans against free trade, why does Washington keep pushing these agreements proven to harm American voters who clearly do not want them? The answer is simple. America's failed trade policies and broken campaign finance systems are linked. This is proven by the vast majority of Americans who oppose these policies, yet members of both parties are forging ahead with more disastrous trade packs. The average American has come to realize the North American Free Trade Agreement, more commonly known as NAFTA, trade pacts do nothing more than lead to the loss of millions of jobs and enrich a few multinational corporations in the process. The fact is, the public opinion does not matter because it is the money behind it that makes the political world go round. With an army of lobbyists and millions of dollars lining the pockets of politicians, the average American does not stand much of a chance against these corporate giants. That has been the case for years, but because of the 2010 Supreme Court decision in Citizens United, and now because of McCutcheon v. FEC ruling, things have gotten even worse. The Citizens United ruling opened the floodgates to spending by wealthy individuals and corporations, and now the McCutcheon ruling just widened that channel. The court ruled that because money is considered speech, the government cannot restrict the total amount any individual can give to campaigns. Through the McCutcheon ruling, an individual donor could give the maximum to every candidate for federal office in the entire country. Americans must stand up, not only against disastrous free trade agreements, shipping their jobs overseas, but also against the flood of money that has bought Washington. It will not be an easy fight. But it is one citizens must win if this once great nation is to be saved. To learn more about the disastrous effects of free trade, log on to economyincrisis.org.